Well, good morning, everybody. What a beautiful day. Look at everything's just looking really nice. Everything's in bloom and the grass is green. Look at that, it couldn't get much greener than that. And then we've got some horses back here. I don't know where they are, they're just right there. And uh, I'm gonna include a little video of the pond. Lisa worked really hard on getting that pond looking nice. I helped a little too. Anyways, it's a beautiful day. Um, yesterday I, I started work on a belt buckle, one of my uh, classic silver ones. And so I'll do a little bit of a, a video today of, of showing the CAD computer aided design file, how I get to that. And then I won't show any of the milling, but I'll show pictures of the mill. And then I'll show the pictures of the finished wax. And then maybe we'll do an investing of the piece. And then I got to set up for another belt buckle. And uh, we'll try to... Morning, Jack. Jack. Jack, just stop being so depressed all the time. He's a good dog. Real good dog. Eva, hippie. Well, there's Chip. And there's Eva. I uh, know that's a uh, Tia. Eva. Eva. Come on, sweetie. Eva. Come on. Well, I can't seem to find Eva. Probably mom let her back in on the porch. This beauty, look at, how are you? You okay? Little hand shy still, but I know, sweetie, I know, I know. I know you're so handsome. You're so handsome. Something's going on over there. Ryder! Ryder! Ryder, how are you? Oh my. Good boy. You're a good boy. I know. I don't got anything. Maybe I'll go in the house and get some apples. Okay, you guys? And then I'll cut back. We buy big boxes of apples out in the valley. Get a good price on them, something like 20 bucks a box. Ryder! No! I'm going to include a video too of the other day. There's a big, big field back there, blueberries. And uh, so we think, well, not we think, we're pretty sure, we're positive that there's a, uh, a coyote's den probably right over there along the, uh, along the property, the trees going in here because they call their, the call of, I guess what they do at night before they go out, they'll do the howling and they'll call their pack together. And then in the morning when they come back, about, oh, I'm gonna guess about 5, 30, 6 o'clock, they do a big call again. And uh, like I said, so I'm gonna include so, them in, we thinking, and doing a little research online that they call the pack together when they're going out, and then they call the pack together when they're coming back, where their den is. So it's right back here, and I'm gonna include 
a video of that next of the howling and uh, and then what we're going to do so we're going to piece a few things together here uh good morning reach out uh, to a pal make sure everybody's okay uh uh, like I say, call a friend, make, you know, go for lunch today or something like that. Take somebody for a coffee. Uh, if not, uh, be kind to your farm animals, uh, your pets, if you got them. Uh, like I'm going to piece things together here. I got goldfish in the pond. I was trying to show that. I'm going to do that. Uh, horses, the coyotes. And now we're going to head on into the studio. Okay, you guys, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and make a comment. It is really about jewelry, but it's about the farm too. Okay, a bit more. Um, eating grass. The pasture, these are pasture horses, but you see how short this grass is? Oh, and the duck. But you see how long this grass is here and here. This, so it's a penned off area and it's a nice field for the two of them. I've got all my mint over here. Right, right over there's mint and in the corner there's mint and more mint there. We do mint juleps and, and we put mint tea and, and I, I, I really enjoy it. So anyways, but the, the, we put the horses out for a while now. I, I've been on the internet and, and both Lisa and I and they say that uh, feeding horses too much uh, grass isn't the best when they're not getting that in their diet. So, but they say if you do feed them, make sure that they've had hay so that they've they have their hay in the morning. So I had the hay out and some baskets and stuff like that uh, in the bags and stuff like that. But I'm gonna feed them in here this morning and you feed them early because the, the grass is, to, is supposed to have less sugar in it. And of course it's taller too, it's not been chewed down. So we let them in here, oh, maybe for 20, 25 minutes in the morning, let them get a, a, a good morning's breakfast and then out into the field and then some more hay. All right, you guys, but it's a beautiful green pasture. And then I have my garden down at the end. I'll walk. I'm, I'm working on my garden again this year. Something very satisfying about listening to a horse eat. Oh, okay, I'm gonna show you my... Uh... Now, the garden's a little bit of a mess still, but I got the front couple rows already done five rows I'm doing it with a bobcat and then I love them off the rake I've got some tomato plants in there but this is mint and there's a bit of a bit of a swamp swamp in there in the back side I haven't got that done yet but I've got uh, one two three four five rows stop it Chippy. If he's trying to get through the fence. Mint, 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 and more mint. So if you want some mint tea, you let me know. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the studio. Wait, wait, more horses? This one here is, uh, this is a little a breeding pair around here. Uh, we feed her, and of course I don't have anything in my pocket right now, so she's not too impressed with me, but look at how beautiful she is. Look at that. Hi, sweetie. I think mommy's coming out with uh, some, something for you, some grain or something. I was just trying to get my way back, I'm trying to get back into the studio. Okay, anyways, look at her. Okay, you guys. Okay, I was just sitting down here. You see him? So he's on watch. He's on watch. They've got their den around here. So. Look, there's another one. You see him coming out? There's two. Look at that. 
So there must be the den then, is the den. I'm thinking it's right there, but maybe it's in the bushes over here. But anyways, they're watching. Where did he just go now? Of course, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, there he is. Oh yeah, no, the, 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 did you just see him now cross right here? The other one's not moving, it's watching. Uh-oh, do you see it? Do you see it in the field right over, right over there, there's another one? Well, I'm trying to tell you, it's thick down here at night. They howl. You see his head, his head right there? Do you see it? There's a head right in there. You could, it's very camouflage, but right in there, there's a head. He's there, and that other one went that away. So that's three, three of the males that are on guard. Well, I don't know if they're the males. I was just sitting here at the, at the, did the horses take off already? I'm just sitting down here at the slough, to give you perspective. So that's the field that I'm looking out to. Two. It's my property back here. And that, this is just a nice slough. This is, this they say, the water guys tell me at least a quarter of the water from Burke Mountain comes across here. Big pump house, way, way down there, there's a big pump house on the Pitt River. <sighs> okay, you guys, I'm gonna try to edit this, right? Look at my hair is all messy. I, I just kind of got up. I think it's only about nine o'clock, maybe 9.30. I shouldn't say I just got up. I've been up since six, but I did come out here. Oh, he sat back down. Okay, maybe what we'll do is we'll- now, I know it's gonna be tough to see, right? Right there. You see them moving around? You see them playing? You see them? One, two, three, three little pups. So when when those coyotes that were uh, were here saw that I was here, they led me out here. But I've come up from a little bit of a vantage point here. Yeah, there's three babies. Look at that, eh? Unfortunately, I can't zoom in anymore with this. And I can't get any closer, but is she, is the mom sitting there too? One, look at her, he's looking at me right now. Now this is probably gonna be as boring as hell on the big screen, unless, like I say, if I could zoom in, it'd be great. Look at them just playing. Oh, I got it right? Oh, sorry, right there in the dead center. Okay, well. That's a bit of a morning, okay? That's like coyotes, ducks, dogs, horses, uh, mint, the garden, and just a great morning. Okay, uh, yeah, there's a coyote problem down here, okay, you guys? I'm not gonna get into the political discussion of what needs to be done. Uh, the coyotes ate uh, five of my goats, and the bears killed another two more, so, uh, let's not get into that, okay? But isn't it, that's the morning for you around here. Okay, uh, did you have a cup of coffee? Oh damn, that's good. Okay, we gotta do something in the studio. That's a nice buckle, a great size. Been making these for years. Uh, anyway, so this is the wax pattern I need in my lost wax casting to, to actually cast and make this belt buckle in silver. So how did I get here? That's the question we want to ask ourselves. Well, uh, I had a phone call and they asked me to make it. That's the first thing. Okay. And, uh, so then I go to my computer files and then I bring up the blank that I have for this. I have a blank, a standard blank, and then I add... I add the charter and I add the year and I add the name, 
right? So that, how did I get to this? Where did this come from? Well, it came off the computer, CAD, computer aided design. And then this milling machine back here, uh, it's a one one fiftieth of a millimeter. It's very precise. It's set up right now for just a uh, three dimensional uh, X, Y, and Z. Uh, it does have an option on it where there's a, an A where you could do uh, round cuts on it, stuff like that. And the other mill that I have here, I've shown you before, it's a five axis mill. So you can do, you could bring the cutter and you can go underneath. So you can do uh, undercuts. Now, so let's go, let's turn this around. Hi. Hi, Peppy. <laughs> Hi, Peppy. Hi, look at that. How can you not be happy with it? Peppy. Peppy. Okay, well, we had Peppy. Okay, and off they go. Here is. Here is the buckle. Okay, this is a this is called Art Camp. This program. Let me just turn this a little bit better. Maybe so we can see that. Okay, so can we see that? Okay, so let's turn off the color. And these are what's called vectors. It's a line drawing file. So I could take that. Uh, let's uh, let's just uh, let's just take the banner. Yeah, for the sake of conversation, okay. And then shape editor, and then uh, go to three dimensional. And you can see how it's just sitting there now, right? So let's move this, and then let's add a height to it. Let's just, for the sake of conversation, just say, oh, 22 is gonna be way too much, but add. You see how that jumps out? So edit, edit, undo, okay, so. This whole thing got built like that. All the pieces got put together and I saved the file uh, without the, the date and stuff like that on it. So it could be a standard buckle. All right. And then from that, uh, where are we at? Let's uh, close that. Let's go here. This program is a milling program. And this red file now, it generates it in just under a minute, but it's the bit going back and forth. You see those lines? That's the tip of the bit going back and forth. So it saves that as a numeric file. Let's see if I can find that. No, more apps, notepad. Okay, I don't know why it's just something about a device ain't working. You see this now, this is a numeric, so it tells Y to go to where, it goes Z and then that's the start. So it goes up and then machining patterns and stuff like that. But so that's that's what I'll save onto this and then I'll put it onto Mach 3. There it is there. And it took it took three hours and twenty-five minutes to cut that piece in here. I'm not gonna go through all that again. And then that was right there and that's cleaned up. Okay, so now we know how we got to the wax. Okay, over to the wax bench. Okay, it's the afternoon. We find ourselves back in the studio. Okay, so we talked about the farm and the animals and all that great stuff. And, um, and I showed you how I came to this point here. Yes, there's the phone call. Somebody asked me to make it. Then I go to the computer. And then I get the file ready and I change a few things that I need to do on it. Then I, mail, then I set up the computer program, the art cam, and it creates a tool path for me. And then I put it in the mill and then the mill cuts it. And um, here we are. So now I'm sprueing it. That's what these, this pink wax is here. It actually has a lower melting temperature than the green wax. The machining wax is probably about two, I think it's I think the box is around here somewhere but I think it's 210 degrees and this this pink wax is like 180 maybe even less 175 so it goes out quicker so when you heat this up that gets out of the way you don't want a really hard wax on the gate or on the sprue because it acts as like a plug and then the wax inside will heat up and it'll expand and it'll get absorbed into the investment, which you really don't want. You want investment has water in it, it has steam. It actually forces this out. 
Okay, so that's a whole other story. So I'm gonna keep going with this. I'm gonna keep going with uh, putting these pieces on here. And this is a little piece of copper wire wrapped around an electrical uh, electrical soldering iron. And I find it works just great for me. Now you don't want any undercuts, right? You just want the wax to go in there and create a nice fill for it. And then you don't want any sharp edges, especially on the on, on the sprues, right? So I'm gonna make another one and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I'm wax welding it or however you wanna say it. I'm putting it together and I just caught, I was commenting about the temperature. So that's like 175. This injection wax, this is like wax that's left over from my wax injector. And it's like 190, it melts. And I think it's even a little bit less, 185. So you get what I'm getting at? All the wax goes out in its stages. So that'll go out first. That's where the sprue will be. That's going to get mounted onto here now. What are we going to do first? We're going to weigh it. Uh, I, I, I cast these without the fittings on the back so that it's easier for me to bend them and then I solder the fittings on. That's not, I can get a nicer finish too, right? Okay, so let's, let's weigh this. Okay, I know that's going to be number two. Mark it down and that's... Uh, 14 grams. So I'm going to need 140 grams of sterling silver. Sterling silver and a buckle. Okay, so I know what I'm doing. All right, you guys, I'll get back to you when I'm done. I trim them off a little bit. Then I'm going to <laughs> melt this. Right? And then melt that and then stick it on there. Okay, I'm unhappy with it. Yep, right there. Now, I'm going to go around and fill the rest of this stuff back in now a little bit. Let's get light over here. So you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to make, going to go around here and make sure that's nice. So that when I pull the sprue base off of there, all, it's all, there won't be any undercuts. all going to be smooth corners there. <laughs> There's the pin. And here's going to be the buckle loop. So I'm going to put that on here. Now, we don't want to cast around a corner, so I'm just going to straighten this out like that a little bit so it flows better, right? Doesn't go back in around on itself. Right? I can always tighten this up when I when I uh... <laughs> after I cast it, right? But at least the parts will be here. Okay, so let's add a little bit of extra wax to that, so that. Okay, so that looks good. Tia, Tia, hello. Say hello to everybody, Tia. Oh well. <laughs> okay, so now buckle that I need. So after I cast, it's going to be easy to polish and clean the back. Then I'm going to bend it, and then. I'll solder on the fittings. Once I'll like, straighten that out. But you can see it's, it's not going to cast around a corner like this, this pink one here, the back of the buckle. I'm not casting it around a corner. So I've bent those open right now. But so that's pretty self explanatory. Let's invest this uh, and uh, get that ready for casting for tomorrow. Uh, I think that this might be it for the video. It's going to be pretty long. Um, we'll just kind of start out tomorrow with the casting and uh, we'll go from there i don't maybe i might include a picture or two of, of of setting it up but i doubt it we've done enough of those yeah that's beautiful okay you guys i don't know if that was in focus or not but like i say all the parts are there and you guys have a great uh a great day i don't know if you're gonna watch it in daytime or nighttime oh don't forget 
a beautiful skull dioxide ring turned out beautiful okay you guys uh, we'll talk to you later okay bonus footage i just uh i was having a cold drink we're doing the next part of the investment of the buckle and i thought oh, i'm gonna go out and take a look for the little coyotes the coyotes were out there playing the little coyotes the little coyotes were playing and the other coyotes there was four of them watching to make sure everything's okay and a black bear came out of the the tree line and made a beeline for him and the coyotes the coyotes chased the bear back into the into the trees so that's going to be bonus footage for the next video okay you guys it doesn't get any better okay have a great day